I just want to quickly say one thing that this young lady, Taylor, who's sitting next to me, this is her first time ever doing anything like this and interviewing. So I think she deserves a huge amount of support. <laughs> Thank you. And um, <laughs> hey, we're going to get to the questions. So my first question is, you're a mom of two daughters pretty close to my age. How have you shown them the importance of giving back? You know, it, it's from the time they were very little, um, we instilled in them the importance of just even what in our own backyard on Thanksgiving going to soup kitchens or volunteering or whenever there was a, a, a cleanup um, that was happening and we would, we would volunteer. And I wanted them to know that, uh, especially because they are our future, that it was really important for them just to know what it's like to, to be kind. You know, that there are random acts of kindness that you can do and you need to be able to do them without getting the reward. Um, my younger daughter, who's your age actually, I just became the ambassador to um, WIN, W I N, which is Women in Need in New York City. And um, Women in Need helps most of our, most of our homeless in, in New York, 70% of them are, are moms with children. And WIN provides housing and helps them transition to go into permanent residence. But my daughter, my 12-year-old volunteers in the nursery. Um, and I just want them to know, you know, all of that time that they spend that they want to be on their devices, um, I try to cut that, cut that a lot and make sure that they spend their energy giving to others. What do you feel are our... <laughs> Oh, also, you know what I also think I think it's important to say is, um, by example, I mean, I hopefully am making an impression on their, their lives as their mother, um, but that it's important for them to see that a lot of what I do is of this nature, whether I'm going and speaking or whether I'm volunteering or doing commercials or whatever it is, I'm trying to be an example to them so that they can see that it's important as well. What do you feel are some of the most important issues that affect women and girls today? I think that there's a myriad of, of, of issues that women have been facing for all time. Um, I think with social media and with these devices, the predatory nature um, that I see my young girls without even knowing what they're doing, they become targets. Um, I think that this is a good time also for young women to, to see what it's like to stand up for yourself and what it is like to not be demeaned and not be diminished and, and to be confident in who you are for the way that you were put on, on this earth. And I think that the biggest difficulty is with I don't, whether it's kids looking at other people's lives on Instagram and thinking that they're somehow missing out or that there's this lower self-esteem that I watch my young girls fight through. And I think that it's, there are dangers everywhere. Um, and I'm trying to instill in my children the, the self-awareness to own your space from the time they were little, little babies. You know, I would say you look someone in the eye and you shake their hand. And she's, one of them said, well, why, Mama? I said, because then this is your space and you present yourself to someone and you look them in the eye and you say, this is my space and I'm here. You can't take advantage of me. And so I think that it's a message that we need because with social media and with what's going on just in general in the world, um, I think it's a very dangerous place for them. What's the best piece of advice that you have ever received from another woman? Probably from my mom, I think, would have been the best. I mean, she used bad language when she said it, but um, <laughs> which I'm not going to do because there's a minor in front of me. But, um, you know, she basically said, you know, forget them if they can't handle it. Um, <laughs> and, and see. Um, <laughs> And, and she said, you know, if you are a bright young woman and if you are going forward in the world, people are going to be threatened by that. 
and that's their problem. That should not make you think any less of yourself. And also, to know, um, to, she said, you know, surround yourself by good, with good people, people that you trust. It doesn't have to be a lot of them, but it has to be, there has to be a core group. And then when you put yourself out there, there's always going to be people that are going to be negative about you. They're always going to have something to say. It's why tabloids are so popular, you know. Um, and she just said, again, it's not your problem, it's their problem. <laughs> Who are your biggest influences in your life and career? Oh, well my kids influence me <laughs> daily. Um, I, I think it's, I, it's so hard, because I was thinking about some of the things that we were gonna talk about today, and I think the most, I'm so impressed by, by women. <laughs> I'm so impressed by moms that, that have kids that work, that multitask, that run businesses, that, you know, and there is this, yes, everybody should be, I, I think that it's, I'm most influenced by the female tenacity and the, the, the belief that we're capable of, of a lot. We need each other, men and, and women, but that it's, I'm impressed when I see women go through adversity, um, triumph, are generous, people that give all of their time to help other people. Those are, those are the people that I'm the most, most influenced by. Thank you, Miss You. Uh-oh, that's too much. <laughs> My time's up. I'm getting the hook. If it was the Academy Awards, they'd be playing music on right now <laughs> to get me to shut up. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna leave now. <laughs> <laughs>